In today's video, I want to run you guys through a brand new and really cool PlayStation 4 RPG that has just been announced for 2020. Another PlayStation 4 exclusive that was kind of expected has also been revealed for 2020. Firewall Zero Hours Operation Heartland and Digital Deluxe Edition is hitting PlayStation VR tomorrow, and we have an idea on Call of Duty Modern Warfare's install size, and it's not as bad as we initially feared, so we'll talk that at the end of this video. First up, let's talk the gothic horror RPG in Sun. Sunless Skies Sovereign Edition heading to the PlayStation 4 in 2020. Community manager over at Degrati Distribution, Matt Gundy, spoke a little bit about the game, and here's what he said. As a publisher, diversity of experience in the titles we release is one of the key things we aim for, so we're delighted to be bringing Sunless Skies Sovereign Edition, the most up-to-date version of Fail Better Games' unique story-driven gothic horror RPG to PS4 in the first half of 2020. Set in the fallen London universe, Sunless Skies sees players a pilot their advanced locomotive as they explore a dangerous world where wonders and perils wait to be discovered in the darkness and gloom of the heavens. The Sovereign Edition will improve and expand Sunless Skies with several changes and tweaks, most notably the addition of new stories offering even more narrative richness by building on the 800,000 plus worlds of handcrafted intertwining tales already in the game. And new stories will in turn present more choices and more decisions, including your captain being put in the unenviable position of whether to serve up your engine's animal mascot to stave off hunger. There will also be changes to ensure Sunless Sky Sovereign Edition feels a good fit for PlayStation 4. Essentially, this means interfaces will be reworked specifically with controllers in mind, so navigating the various menus will be as intuitive and player-friendly as possible. We'll have more information to share about Sunless Sky Sovereign Edition soon, but in the meantime, be sure to watch the new trailer. So this was a game that, yes, released on PC way back early in 2019, back in January. It released at $24.99, so it was a budget release, and it was the follow-up to Sunless Sea, which was a rather well-received game, and Sunless Skies was even better received. Metacritic has got an 86, which is a very respectable score. Did pretty well from the Steam reception as well. 704 user reviews, 80% positive reviews, so not quite as good as the Metacritic reception, but still pretty good. And the game is a gothic role-playing game with a focus on exploration and exquisite storytelling. The only thing between you and the waste wind storms and cosmic lighting is your engine. Tendon upgraded by weaponry and exotic equipment, and keep her hull in good shape to hold the hostile heavens at bay. You play the captain of a locomotive, a steam engine fitted for off-rail travel, sailing the stars, leading your crew into trouble and out of their minds, smuggle souls, barter for crates of time, stop for cricket, and a cup of tea. Discover more of the deep and marvelous fallen London universe as seen in the previous game of Sunless Sea. And you don't have to play the prior game to enjoy this game. The stories can coexist happily, but if you do play the first game, that'll probably give you some added information and an added idea of what to expect out of the game. Again, we don't have an official release date for Sunless Skies at this point, but it will be dropping in the first half of 2020. All right, moving on from that, we have the revelation of another PlayStation 4 exclusive that'll be coming in March. This one is kind of expected, but it's of a series that's been really well received, and that is the latest game in the MLB The Show franchise with MLB The Show 20. Publisher Sony Interactive and developer Sony San Diego have announced MLB The Show 20 for PlayStation 4, and it'll be dropping on March 17, 2020, so literally right in the midst of a ton of other major game releases. I think in the case of MLB The Show, it really doesn't matter. If you're a baseball fan and if you've dug the show video games, you're going to check this out anyway. Otherwise, it's probably not going to win you over. The cover athlete for MLB The Show 20 is Javier El Mago Bays, who hit 34 home runs and 111 RBIs with a .29 batting average in 2018. MLB The Show 20 will be available in the following special editions. We have the 15th Anniversary Edition, which will be a GameStop exclusive. And it was noted, even though San Diego Studio has been making baseball games for more than 20 years, this year is the 15th anniversary of MLB The Show. To properly celebrate, we've partnered with New Era to create a limited 15th anniversary edition, 950 commemorative 15th anniversary snapback cap. Pre-order now because quantities are limited. The 15th anniversary edition is $100 flat. It'll include a limited edition steelbook, four days early access for pre-order purchases, which I absolutely hate, and you've got some DLC items as well. There's also the digital deluxe edition, which is also $100, some similar content, and it'll once again get you four days of early access, and you'll get some packs and whatnot. And then you've got the MVP edition, which is $80, and that'll give you four days early access as well, so you have to get at least the $80 variant for four days of additional access. Pre-order bonuses, if you pre-order through the PlayStation Store, you'll get one gold choice pack, 5 k 
Stubbs and some other stuff, and then GameStop and EB Games are following up with similar content. Again, MLB The Show 20 is due out March 17, 2020 on PlayStation 4, and it will be exclusive to the PlayStation 4. Next up, I do want to give you an update on another PlayStation 4 exclusive, and that is the VR exclusive in Firewall Zero Hour, and it's Operation Heartland and Digital Deluxe Edition bundles hit PSVR tomorrow. Coming from the game director, Damon Shevastari, at First Contact Entertainment, he noted on the PlayStation blog, Arriving October 22nd, our latest operation finally brings our contractors to the heartland, the land of red, white, and blue, the United States of America. The trailer will give you a taste of what's in store this season. You can never be too prepared. And to recap the last season, contractors were dropped into the underworld of Operation Dark Web, where players welcomed a ton of new content added to the game, including two new maps with newsroom and cargo, two new contractors in Kane and Proxy, two new weapons in the Z1 Reaper and Sten, and three new pieces of equipment with the motion sensor, instant smoke, and concussion mine. Not to mention the vast amount of cosmetic rewards earned by players completing weekly missions throughout the eight weeks. With the launch of Operation Heartland, we keep the momentum going. All players can complete this season's free missions to earn free cosmetic rewards, and with an op pass $9.99, players unlock additional premium and bonus missions weekly for additional cosmetic rewards. Here's the full rundown of what's coming. We've got new maps. Operation Heartland will have two new maps free for all players with the first map, Prepper, launching tomorrow. The Prepper map takes place in a Doomsday Preppers bunker network somewhere on the edge of Arizona and the edge of society. Keep an eye on the TV screens and conspiracy boards existing in the Prepper bunker. You never know what you might find. Players will also find themselves immediately in this scene when loading up the game as the Prepper bunker is the new main menu and lobby environment this season. Later on this season, Operation Heartland's mid-season update coming November 26th will introduce another brand new free map to all players called Gauntlet. Gauntlet is a training ground located in the state of Virginia. Virginia and will be an instant favor for fans of Firewall Zero Hour Shootout House. New contractors will also be included with the first being available tomorrow in Baron, Expert, Hunter, and Tracker. And then on November 22nd, the second contractor and Dom will be coming. Dom is the first contractor from France and his skill of survivalist will allow players to receive an additional downstate. New equipment will also be coming, new weapons, new legendary weapon skin, and new cosmetic rewards. And you've got a free blood and truth trinket as well, so kind of a cool crossover there. Hack keys. And then you do have the new bundles, the Firewall Zero Hour Digital Deluxe Edition and Deluxe. Pack the digital deluxe edition $39.99 includes the following the base firewall zero hour game, the contractors, Jag, Nash, Node, Ruby, Lynx, Kane, and Proxy, camo skins, face paints, weapon skins, and then the deluxe pack, which is $19.99, includes a bunch of contractors, camo skins, face paints, and a bunch of weapon skins as well. And that'll be again $19.99. Uh, the base game is $19.99 as well, so the digital deluxe edition for $40 is about in line. So, again, cool to see firewall zero hour continue to make updates given that this is one of the best games on V. Are. It'll be exciting to see how that one turns out. And lastly, from one shooter to another, Call of Duty Modern Warfare is due out this Friday, and I do want to give you guys a heads up about the storage size. There was a lot of rumblings going around on how big this game was going to be, and ultimately, it probably is going to be a sizable game after all of the DLC, but uh, the PC system requirements listed 175 gigabytes, and that worried a lot of people thinking that this game, right from the get-go, was going to be 175 gigabytes. It's not going to be that big. It is going to be relatively sizable with it being 61.78 gigabytes of an install so that is relatively big but given that we have games like Red Dead Redemption 2, Fallout 76 that are so much bigger and most games these days are around the 60 gigabyte range that's honestly on the lower end of things if you're talking about the higher end that's when you're looking at the 80, 90, 100 gigabyte titles it's really becoming normalized and that's why I've been saying that if you guys have the option upgrade your hard drive or at the very least get a one terabyte ps4 that's what's being normalized and all ps4s are one terabyte it's just that at launch we got 500 gigabyte ps4s and that is a little bit questionable at this point ideally you would either want to upgrade the internal hard drive or pick up an external hard drive because for a lot of people you're going to need even more than a terabyte you would want two or three terabytes if you are consistently buying the newest and latest games given that again if you want to keep them all installed the red dead redemption 2 is already taking a massive portion of that hard drive and of that one terabyte so just something to think about but as far as modern warfare is concerned 61.78 gigabytes not all too bad and that's going to conclude this video again a brand new playstation 4 rpg is coming with sunless skies that'll be dropping in the first half of 2020 new ps4 exclusive revealed in mlb the show 20 that'll be dropping march 17th firewall zero hours operation heartland and digital deluxe edition bundles hit psvr tomorrow and then call of duty modern warfare launch playstation 4 file size is just 61.78 
8 gigabytes, nothing too crazy, but still relatively big. That's gonna conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.